Whether I'm playing my best golf or having one of those other kinds of rounds, a big part of my day on the course is the eating and drinking that occurs afterwards. Here in Southern California, we have some of the top golf course eats and drinks in the country, and we're here to take you behind the scenes of the best of the best. This is the 19th hole. Today we're here at Arroyo Tribuca Golf Club in Mission Viejo, California. I just played my last two holes in about 10 minutes after catching an amazing whiff of what's just ahead. Let's go grab some grub. Okay, we're now joined by O'Neill's executive chef, Jeff Platt. Jeff, in your own words, what's O'Neill's all about? Uh, O'Neill's is basically a full service restaurant located at a golf course. We do breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. We're open for holidays. Um, we do a fantastic Sunday brunch as well. Okay, I, I, I think unique is one word that I would use to describe it. You mentioned it's, it's at a golf course, but it's really a restaurant first. Talk about that dynamic. When I came here, the first thing I said is, we need to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner menus running every day of the week. And certainly, given the opportunity to serve more than just a golfer, that's the kind of the uniqueness about this restaurant. Sun goes down, golfers go home, O'Neill's doesn't close. Talk about some of the things you're doing after hours here. Yeah, dinner really is the most exciting time for me. Uh, our menus are a little more creative, a little more unique, and again, it's set up like any other restaurant you would normally go to. All right, well, sounds like you know what you're doing in the kitchen. Let's, let's go inside and take a look. Sounds great. All right. All right, well, tell, tell us about it. What, what, what do we got Wonderful. here? So we're gonna be doing a little bit of Scottish salmon. It's uh, gonna be a, a new winter menu item for us. Uh, we've got pancetta, gnocchi, curry squash, chestnuts, and rosemary. Wow. So we're gonna start a little bit with our gnocchi and we wanna just toast our gnocchi up just a little bit. All righty. And to that, we're gonna add our Pancetta. So we got a little crispy pancetta here. Yeah, yeah. Our curry, curry squash. It's already. We get some beautiful uh, fall flavors going on. All right. So our curry squash is getting down there. A little garlic, a little shallot, and some fresh herbs. All right. This sauce is a Parmesan broth. I just mount it with a little bit of butter, and we're gonna put our veg right down on there. I love the skin on the curry squash, completely edible. And then our salmon on top of that. There it is. All right, Chef, now for the sample. I have a feeling you're gonna be making a lot of these. A little gnocchi, a little salmon, a little pancetta, and I gotta get one of those curries. Mm. What do you think? That is awesome. Thank you. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'm an SCGA oh, member. Yeah, I play a lot of courses in Southern California. Um, but I have to say, of all the courses I play, O'Neill's is my favorite restaurant. So I'm playing 17 and 18, and I, and I get this whiff. Is, is this, by chance, what that was? That's what you, This is what you're smelling right here, yes. Oh my goodness, so, yeah. so you just kind of tempt people their last two holes to come in and That's try exactly something. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Not every restaurant, and certainly not many golf course restaurants, smoke their own meat. Tell us what goes in here and the, the extent of this, wow. uh, this contraption. Uh, what doesn't go in here is really a better question. Right. We, we try and smoke about everything here. Uh, from our pork ribs, which we're just taking out right now, uh, to a uh, tri-tip sandwich, yep. to tri-tip entree, as a matter of fact. Well, what kind yeah. of temperatures are we talking in there? I, I like to keep it pretty low. I'm a slow and low kind of guy, so about 240 degrees is kind of my sweet spot. Sure. If it's something like tri-tip, we can go a little bit, 275, that kind of thing. Well, can we go inside and try one of those? Absolutely. All right, sounds good. Okay, so this is our smoked tri-tip French dip. We have our house, uh, our house rub on our tri-tip. All right. And we smoke it for about two hours till it's about medium. It gets dipped into our broth. From there, we use a little caramelized onion. And then we're just using a nice hoagie roll, a nice fresh hoagie roll this, on this. This is a serious sandwich right here. I'm looking forward to seeing your face on this one. <laughs> All right, then we've got a little bit of uh, horseradish cream. All right. And we are pretty much done with this. Wow, there it is. Give that a try. Give her, give her a little dip. All righty. Saturation's always a good thing, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. You should get that nice bit of smoky hint in there. 
Really sets it apart from most French dips. Got the smoke, a nice little little kick from the horseradish. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's fabulous. Now, Jeff, as you know, no 19th hole experience is complete without the bar. Certainly. You got quite the uh, the array of choices here. Let's go take a look. Let's go look. All right. Well, the vibe in the room here is just golfers coming off the course. Uh, they're ready for a cold beer. They're ready for a pulled pork sandwich or tri-tip sandwich, whatever it may be. So we, we keep our tap selection rotating uh, every day. There's always new beers. Wow. So, so Chef, 11 of these 12 change. There's one that's always here. That's correct. Tell us about that one. That's our Royal Tribuco Pale Ale made by Evans Brewery in Irvine, California. All right, well, you mind, you mind if I try? Oh, I've always wanted do. to do this. All right. What a feeling you're no stranger to that. Well, you know, I, I'm at a little practice. Oh, but as you can see, I, you've got a very impressive wine collection, a lot of wine enthusiast awards. Yes, thank you. Talk, talk to us about your wine. Uh, yeah, so we're very proud of our wine list. Uh, it's a very California-based wine list, but we do branch out from there. Okay. Uh, outside of that, yes, so we do have, we every year we get our Wine Spectator Award, and we're very proud of that as well. All, all part of the uh, O'Neill's experience. Very much so. Sounds great. Yeah. Now, as you can see, O'Neill's has been featured by some of the world's most famous publications. We've got SCGA4 Magazine and an SCGA4 Magazine. So no trip to a Royal Tribuco Golf Club is complete without seeing Mr. Michael Block. Michael, how are you? Pleasure. Nice seeing you. Michael's the head pro here. He's the 2016 SC PGA Player of the Year. He won the PGA Professional National Championship in 2014. So we trust you. What do you like on the O'Neill's menu? Well, I'll tell you what, I've been uh, having lunch here for 13 years now. That's how long I've actually been here. But uh, the Poke Bowl, the Poke Bowl is absolutely amazing. I was going to say, you've been around a lot of golf, obviously, in your days. How is O'Neill so unique? There's nothing else like it. Yeah. Um, even country clubs tend to not really have the exact ambiance, and the food is absolutely amazing, and uh, our customers rave about it all the time. That's awesome. Well, Michael, continued success. Thank you for having us here today. Hey, pleasure, right. my friend. All right, sticking with Michael's advice, I went with the Ahi Poke Bowl. Cheers from O'Neill's. See you at the next 19th hole.